Greetings, Mom and Sir. I am Jana Cercinino, the leader of Group 4 from Grade 12's Time 1A for Practical Research 2. This is our video presentation and video defense. Hope you will enjoy it. Thank you. The research study entitled The Impact of Financial Problems to the Motivation of the Andalcaibigan Scholars from the Finma University of Pangasinan used descriptive correlational study as the research method. The research asked questions such as the profile of the respondents, the degree of financial problems experienced by the respondents, the level of motivation among the respondents, and if both the variables have significant impact on each other. The main focus of the study is to determine the impact of financial problems to the Handong Kaibigan scholars' is motivation. The data gathered in the research was obtained from the selected Handong Kaibigan scholars of Finma University of Pangasinan. This study will be conducted for the first semester of academic year 2019-2020. Random sampling will be utilized in this study. The technique utilized in selecting the respondents was quota sampling. The problem that arose during the gathering of information needed was finding of the respondents inside the campus. The solution to the problem was leaving the questionnaires to the office where the Handokai Vegan Scholars can get SAS or activity sheets for the class they are going to. The researchers saw the need to conduct the study because of the economical crisis the country is experiencing, poverty. This matter has spurred many counter effects such as dropout rates and unemployment in the country. Poverty, on the other hand, did not only produce a negative impact on the mental and physical health of the people, but also became the stimulant to pursue, achieve, and reach higher goals. The motivation, where the parents and the researchers both always supported us in whatever we do. Also, the very focus of the study, specifically the students, teachers, school personnel, and administration, the Department of Education, parents, and future researchers. This study was empowered by our dreams and goals and also our parents' love. The result of the study is beneficial to the following students. This study shall help students in identifying the financial problems that they encounter, which in return motivated them to succeed this type of financial concerns. Parents, this study shall guide parents on how they will assist and support their children in a way that they will get motivated despite of experiencing financial constraints. Teachers, this study shall aid teachers in guiding their students with financial problems through providing proper advice and direction. School administration, this study shall also help the school administration to understand their students' financial problems. Youth, this shall serve as a framework for them to review and perhaps follow the solutions. If it will also flow as the same direction with our given scenario. Defend. It shall give the Department of Education an idea on why there are some students who can finish their studies because of the lack of financial assistance. Researchers, to new researchers, it shall be an added references to them whenever they do, like to study the effects of financial difficulties to students. Future researchers, this study shall serve as a basis for their research research about financial problems for students. The instrument we used to obtain data for our research was survey questionnaire. It is composed of three parts, which are the profile of the respondents, degree of financial problem among the respondents, and the level of motivation among the respondents. We gather data by seeking for secondary data resources, just like books, internet, and thesis sample. We also gather data by seeking from primary data resources. We gather data from our survey questionnaire that is analyzed and tabulated by the aid of a statistical instrument. The study conducted by the researchers is beneficial to the society, for the gathered data would serve as a framework that could be reviewed to gain ideas and guide in developing solutions regarding a student's financial problem. It will help individuals to understand financial situations that they have or yet to encounter and use it as a motivation to survive harder. Profile of the respondents are the following. First, sex. From the 60 respondents, 35 of them were female, while 25 of them were male. Second, age. From the 60 respondents, 39 of them were under 18 years old, and none of them are in the age bracket of 
22 to 21 years old, 24 to 23 years old, and above 25 years old. Third, monthly family income. From the 60 respondents, 42 of them have a monthly family income of below 15,000, while 5 of them have a monthly income of 25,000. The transmuted description of the respondent's degree of financial problem was moderate, with a descriptive equivalent of sometimes and an average weighted mean of 2.92. The findings imply that in terms of financial problems, the respondents were experiencing hardships in terms of financial assistance, but still manageable. The disputed description of the respondents' level motivation was high, with a descriptive equivalent of open and an average weighted mean of 4.09. The findings imply that in terms of motivation, the respondents were highly motivated, confident, happy, and positive towards their studies. Computed value for Pearson R or the correlational coefficient is negative 0.17, which means the two variables of weak correlation based on the correlation coefficient interpretation guideline. Therefore, the given statistics on the table provide sufficient evidence for the researchers to reject the null hypothesis. There is a significant relationship between the financial problems and motivations of the Handoke Bigan scholars of Quinma University of Pangasinan, academic year 2019 and 2020. This is our conclusion. First, the scholarship given by schools are really helpful to them financially. Scholarship have really benefits and are the most desirable form of financial aid by removing financial barriers. Scholarship provides opportunity for many people to earn an education as well as having a better state of mind in studying rather than thinking how to provide money for one's tuition fees. Many are merit-based or awarded as recognition for certain achievements. A scholarship can make a big difference in your education, so one must use it wisely. Second, financial problems are very likely to occur to scholars. The lack of jobs and the economic growth of the country spread the effects of poverty, not just on everyday living but also to every individual's life. Poverty also becomes learners stimulant in achieving and pursuing higher goals and dreams. Third, Filipinos are resilient. Filipinos are able to rise from any problems or calamities they may encounter. Despite of all the hardships and deprivation that many Filipinos is facing, they choose to keep on moving and stay motivated throughout their life. Motivation keeps the student to be cooperative and loyal to their studies. In short, the scholars are very motivated in pursuing their dreams. And lastly, financial problem among the scholars does not greatly affect their motivation. There could be other factors that can greatly affect the motivation of the students, like their relationship to other people their appearance, achievements, environments, personal experiences, and interests. Based on the conclusions drawn, the following recommendations are presented. Number one, parents should keep motivating their children, push them to pursue their dreams, be fully supportive on whatever they want to achieve. Number two, Students should not stop in pursuing their dreams and keep moving forward whatever obstacles and challenges they may face. The school administration should prioritize in giving scholarships to people who deeply need financial assistance in pursuing their life goals. The researchers commend the school's continuing support to the scholars and praise the hard work given by the respondents in exchange for the school's help. And number four, the present researchers would like to suggest in conducting the study in other areas or places to compare the result and to contrast the similarities of the respondents to other people. The motivation of the study were the parents of the researchers who always supported us in whatever we do. Also, the benefactors of the study, specifically the students, teachers, school personnel, and administration, the Department of Education, parents, and future researchers. This study was empowered by our dreams and goals and also our parents' love for us. The scope of study is the main focus of the impact of financial problem to the motivation of HK Scholar in the University of Pangasinan. This study will be conducted for the first semester of academic year 2019-2020. The data gathered in the research was obtained from the selected 
HK students at University of Pangasinan. The problem that arose during the gathering of information needed was finding of respondents. The solution to the problem was leaving the questionnaires to the office where the HK scholars can get student activity sheet for the class they are going to pass. Questions presented are for the readers and researchers to determine whether there is a certain correlation of financial problems to the motivation of the students. It also guided the researchers to gather definite findings that led to the given conclusions. Electronic links and questionnaires are the two important sources the researcher used. Electronic links were used for our related literature and related studies, and questionnaires help us fill the gaps that are needed to determine the degree of financial problem and the motivation of HK scholars. For our research methodology, we use the following. For research design, we use descriptive correlation to describe the relationship between our two variables. For our data gathering instrument, we use survey questionnaire which is composed of three parts. First, it talks about the profile of the respondents. The second part talks about the degree of financial problems among the respondents. While the third part of our survey questionnaire talks about the level of motivation among respondents. For our statistical treatment of data, we use frequency count, average weighted mean, and person R. The respondents of our races are the Anadol Kaibigal scholars consisting of 60 students. The method that we use is non probability sampling, which is photo sampling. The measurement instruments that we use are frequency count, average weighted mean, and person R. Our findings are the profile of the respondents in terms of sex, age, and monthly family income, level of motivation among the respondents, Significant relationship between financial problems and the motivation of the respondents. Correlation between financial problems and the level of motivation of the respondents. The original in our work are the questionnaires that we made and answered by the respondents. Also, the chapter 4 that consists the data gathered. The data gathered is, is considered to be original because the information are collected from the respondents and has been accumulated especially for the purpose in mind. The data has not been published yet and is more authentic. The strongest part of our study is the chapter 3, the methodology, because it provides us all the details we have gathered from the perspective of the respondents. However, the weakest part of the study is the result, because the correlation between the two variables is weak. My recommendation to the future researchers, the study will require a lot of perseverance, energy, and effort to be accomplished. They must cooperate with their groupmates and make them work together to finish their research faster and effectively. The importance of our studies for us to know the impact of financial problem to the motivation of Handok Kai Bigan Scholar of Pin Mayupang University of Pangas. If I were given the chance to change something in our study, I will not change anything because I am satisfied and contented to the overall result of our research study. I am going back to the start of our research. My advice to myself is that I must study our research topic deeply and cooperate with my groupmates. If there is teamwork, I believe that we can finish our research quickly and make every chapter better. Guys, it's you, girl. Are you ready? 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 Are you First, sex from the respondents, 35 of them. 60! 60 respondents! Greetings, Tom and Sir. I am Janice Cercilino. <laughs> the profile of the respondents. First, Art. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah,